Hey guys, January 2nd here, uh, day after New Year's. Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, another application review, so let's get this one started. Uh, sorry about this one, I'm going to sound terrible. I've been sick. I got sick yesterday, and I'm sick today now. Um, so I apologize, I sound awful. Anyway, let's get this review started. Um, first review that I have game for you is called uh, Links Free. It's a very fun application from the App Store, actually. Very simple gameplay. All it is is you have certain uh, you have colored boxes all around this uh, center black box and this red ball bouncing around. Oh, I have a time limit. I forgot. And what you do is you drag one colored box to the same colored box on any opposite side. Um, some of the boxes have like bombs in them or little like star things, and those are different power ups. Um, and by doing this, you constantly are just getting farther, more points, and once you get to the next level, the next level can have something like two balls, and there's there's always something different in the next level. I go faster, there's multiple balls, so it's harder because if you touch one of these balls, then you lose a life. Anyway, it's a very simple, very fun game. It's, it's a free game from the App Store. It's called Links Free. I'd recommend you at least go try that one. It's pretty fun. Um, next one that I have, this one I definitely want you to all go try. Um, it's an entertainment app, music application. Uh, three different instruments. You have Oriental Flute, you have Eastern Bells, and you have Rock Guitar. And all it is, all these little pads are different uh, noises, different pitches. So it's pretty fun, actually. It's just fun. It's just fun noises. You can mess around with it. You can make some beats if you want to. But it's fun to at least try for one, so I definitely recommend that one. It's a free app for right now called Noise Trio. Next apps that I have for you guys. I apologize for sounding so terrible on this one. It's called Wordle. It's a very simple application. It's called it's spelled W O R D L E. It's a free app from the App Store. There's one spelled W U. Uh, but get the one that's O because that one's free and it's pretty much the same gameplay. Anyway, what you have is you have six different letters at the top of the screen, and you have to spell different words out of them. Example, will, submit it, and it's a word. Uh, example, ill, you submit it. And here's your word bank down here. You have all these words to spell. It's very simple, very easy gameplay. It can get to be pretty tough, because sometimes there's words that I've never even heard of. An example, let's try and find one that I've never heard of. I just ended the game. Um... Swills, maybe I've never heard of that, but anyway, it's a free app from the App Store called Wordle. Very fun, very easy gameplay. Everyone knows that kind of gameplay, very simple. Next one is a paid app from the App Store, I believe it's 99 cents, called Crazy Tanks. Very fun application, I love this one so much. Uh, really great graphics, great gameplay. The controls are fantastic. Use the accelerometer, and it's very easily uh, configured. And what you are is you're this little green tank, and you're just rolling around the map. Uh, pretty much just get in territory. Down here is your little radar, so you have to find the red dots or the enemy tanks, which are red. And to shoot them, you just simply just tap the screen and it'll shoot a missile at them, shoot a cannon. Um, so very simple, as you guys see. Uh, it's not too complex, it's just uh, as the levels progress on, there's more tanks. Uh, they're, e they're harder on you. They uh, do more damage to you. So, and there's like an example, there's new enemies. This one's just one... I'm going to die in a second, though. Uh, as you guys see, your health stays with you the entire game. So you have to go around and pick up health packs like I did just there. Okay, so I just picked up a power-up. It's three cannonballs at once. But anyway, that's pretty much the entire gameplay. It's very simple, very fun gameplay. I would definitely recommend this application. Uh, I found myself playing it for hours on end sometimes. Not true, but I've found myself playing it for a while sometimes. Anyway, that's Crazy Tanks, a 99 cent app from the App Store. Next app that I have, um, I have one called Twitterific. This is a free app from the App Store. You guys saw me do a Twitter client called Tweeter. Um, pardon me, sorry. And that was um, just typing in and updating your uh, status. That's all you had to do. But now what you have here is you have pretty much every... Um, how do I get back? You have like every single uh, ability you can do on Twitter from your computer, you can do it on this app. You can update your status, you can see your friend's status that you're following, you can see messages, you can send certain messages to someone. Um, so it's very simple. This is also a free app from the App Store. I definitely get this one for a Twitter client. It's called Twitterific. Pardon me one more time. Ugh, I'm sorry, guys. I just had to get this review out, though. <laughs> anyway, last app that I have is called App Sniper. I would definitely recommend this one. If I ever recommend an application, it's definitely this. I need to have Wi-Fi. Hold on. 
Let me go set Wi-Fi up. I sound terrible. I feel bad for you guys having to watch this video. Okay, Wi-Fi's up. Let's go do this one. So what App Sniper is is that it's different uh, applications. It's either apps that are, have just been price lowered, they just have price reductions in the App Store, or that have just been released. So it's very easy. It saves you a ton of money. So example, there used to be an app in the App Store called Threes. It was ninety nine cents. It's now been lowered to free. Um, it always just tells you price reductions and stuff like that. You can see which ones have been lowered to free. So these are all the recent apps that have been lowered down to free in the App Store. Um, you can go into new apps. You can see when they were just released. For example, the last one was uh, called Pingdom. The free app from the App Store released seven hours ago. Um, an example, you can also snipe an app. So you can get a, a certain application. And these are my three that I've been sniping. And uh, you can set a certain price. So when that app has been lowered to that price, then you'll be able to, it'll, it'll alert you and you can go out and buy it in the App Store. You can touch an application. It gives you a huge detailed uh, description on the app. There's pictures. There's um, uh sales ratings, there's a button here for sniping, but since I'm already sniping it, it's not there. You can block a, a seller um, for some reason, I don't know why, but if you don't want to have apps from that seller anymore, you can block them, and then you can click buy, which will take you to its page into the app store in a second, should. There we go. And now we're at touch grind. And Gosh, I feel so bad for you guys having to watch this. Anyway, that's App Sniper. It's 99 cents from the App Store. It is a dollar, so you're going to have to pay a dollar to get it. But over time, it'll eventually save you money by showing you all the lowered, the price reduced apps and all uh, the limited time offers when they're free. So I definitely recommend this one. It'll save you money. It saves you a bunch of time from having to search the, uh, the App Store. I usually only use this now. I use this App Store sometimes. But App Sniper is definitely my new favorite. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, I think. I'm going to scroll through really quickly. And I hope it is because I'm putting you guys through so much pain right now having to watch and listen to me from this video. Okay, good. <laughs> I apologize, guys, for sounding so terrible. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, have a fantastic New Year's. I hope you guys are doing all the fun stuff you're doing, hanging with your family, making your resolutions, partying, I don't know, whatever you're doing. Hope you're having a fantastic time doing it. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. See ya. And one more time, I apologize for sounding like complete crap.